Hey everyone, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and what happened was I dropped off my daughter at school and I said, let me go to the Dollar Tree just to get a few drinks. I ran out of the coconut water so I went to grab that and I said, let me just put a few things in my cart and this is what happened. It's kind of like a salesman coming to your door and say, I have all the great things I wanna to sell to you, but Dollar Tree just has it on the shelf for, of course, $1.25, and I always get suckered into buying something. So um, they're all good things, especially that Twin Pops right there. It's a big pack, and I'm gonna show you everything that I bought at the Dollar Tree today, starting off with the food, because my channel is all about food. We have pork rinds from Brim's. This is my favorite brand. I am on a low-carb diet, kind of, sort of, because I always fall back a day or two. Anyway, as long as I try to head back on track. So pork rinds, and then next to it is pretzels. These are honey wheat. They used to have like bigger pretzels, like fatter and longer ones, but I don't see that anymore. And then our favorite cheese balls from, same thing, from the same brand Brims, and the popcorn, which my daughter will finish the whole thing to herself. This one, I will finish to myself. <laughs> and then for my son, Jeffrey, I got him the spicy chili and lime tortilla chips. They did have a different kind of, um, and a, like a circular chip, it was also spicy, but I think he likes the spicy chili instead. So I got him that. And then I saw this hazelnut cocoa spread. My kids like like the Nutella. The ingredients is really not that bad on here. This is all the ingredients. And for $1.25, and instead of spending like six, seven, eight dollars, I only spent $1.25. So they can have that on toast for breakfast. And then I know this is not the greatest thing. I keep passing it by, but I use chicken bouillon anyway, and chicken bouillon has all the bad things. So might as well go towards the beef when I need it. So I got the beef bouillon. And then I mentioned already my coconut water. I used to get my coconut water at Costco, but I just found it too pricey. I wanna say it's not pricey, but their prices um, is going up. I really don't have to have coconut water, but just for a few bottles at $1.25, it's not gonna break the bank. So these are the ones without pieces. These are the ones with pieces. Just make sure this is the same packaging you get. I did try, well, I did go to another Dollar Tree and I really didn't like the coconut water that they had. They just added too much sugar. This one I feel is a little bit more natural. And then I even brought some to my coworkers and they liked it. And they were surprised I got it from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a hit and miss, but um, including with my low carb diet, I'm trying to find meals that I can cook. And something that I remember my mom cooking with sardines and she just sautés it with onion, garlic, and tomatoes. This is sardines and brine. They did have sardines in tomato sauce, which I didn't want. So I don't know, it could be a hit or miss, but I'm gonna give it a try. I could also add some egg because I remember my mom used to add some egg, but I don't know. So we're gonna give that a try. And then my daughter, Serena, she likes strawberry milk. This one has 14 grams of protein by the brand Shamrock. They did have vanilla. And then smoothie, this is just fruit. This was really, I mean, I was surprised about it. Black mulberry puree, blackberry puree, apple juice, and strawberry puree. It's not a low-carb diet, so I'm going to give that to my girls. There's no sugar added. There's nothing else added. It's one of these, um, it's in one of these packages. Uh, I forgot what, what kind of package you call this, but... One of these packages that are like that have a long shelf life. Ah, finally got that out. And then I've been liking a lot of spicy, like spicy foods. So I wanted to just add some spice to my own personal plate. And I got the sriracha hot chili sauce. And then when I saw the cinnamon raisin bagels, I snatched that up real quick. I've never seen cinnamon raisin bagels at my Dollar Tree. They only had one, so I just grabbed the one. And so we're gonna have that with some cream cheese or butter, whatever we have in our refrigerator. I also need to get some spoons. These are like really cheap spoons, guys, like 52 in a box for $1.25, that's really good. That's even cheaper than Walmart, cheaper than my ShopRite. Um, I would say it's roughly, if you calculate it, roughly the same as Costco, but um, I don't need to buy like a big box of it. And then we have chocolate wafers. I always look around or I look to the ingredients to see if it has high fructose corn syrup. This is the only one that didn't. Every other chip, um, every other cookie that was in the Dollar Tree had high fructose corn syrup. So, and I really like it that the ingredients is basically like one sentence instead of, of a paragraph. I try to avoid those. And then I bought this before as well, milk chocolate solids. And this actually tastes really good and the ingredients is minimal as well. 
So sugar, milk, cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur, soy lecithin, and natural flavor, which I'm really not sure what that means, but it tastes really good. For $1.25, you can't go wrong with that. You can also make some chocolate-covered strawberries with that. So um, I highly recommend getting this instead of those like like candy melts that you get from like Michaels or something like that. And then, ooh, I got so excited. I got these Twin Pops. There's 18 in this big bag. This was the only one I found there and just I so happened to find it. This like reminds me of my childhood, guys. This is like my childhood right here and my husband's because both of us re remember that we used to have this. And so I wanted to get this for my girls. I need to put that in the freezer real quick because this is gonna melt. And there's several flavors in there. So I don't have to go buy any ice cream at Mr. Softy or you know something like that uh, when it comes around our block. And then we also got some cheeseburger castle bites from White Castle. Well, not from White Castle, but it's a White Castle brand. This is from Dollar Tree. I'm hoping this tastes like a little White uh, Castle burger. So I'm, I'm excited to try that. This is going to be heated up when the girls get home along with this crinkle cut french fries so i'm just going to put it into the air fryer it's going to get nice and crisp and i don't have to spend three dollars for a large container of french fries at burger king or something like that and then i also want to try this hot smoked sausage this is made out of chicken and pork and this is also going to be included in my low carb meal and then for snacks or for sweets or additional sweets because that's also a sweet i got the werther's original sugar-free caramel chocolate candies this one is chewy caramels this is also sugar-free i'm trying to go in the low carb direction i'm breaking it really really easy i don't want to go too strong because last time when i did my keto i lost my hair and i don't want to get to that point so breaking it easy here guys and then I'm, i needed some more sponges our sponge has pretty much obliviated from washing all the dishes so I thought that this was a really cute sponge, flower sponge. It comes in two, it says scrub buddies. And then I found this as well. This one, I really didn't see that many at my Dollar Tree, but I really like the foam, the foam sponge better because it just creates more bubbles for the dishes. And then it has like a thin layer of this, like, um, I don't know, this other kind of layer of sponge and then abrasive in the back. And there's three in, in that package. Moving on to this side of my couch, I did get a tiny cutting board. I was on the fence of getting the little tiny plastic cutting board and versus the bamboo, but I didn't like the texture of the plastic cutting board. I felt like it was sliding too much and I was afraid I was going to cut my fingers. So I got I got this little bamboo cutting board. Now, the reason why I got this is because I don't want to continue like washing my large cutting board at home every time I want to cut like a small piece of fruit or cheese or whatever it is that I'm cutting, even if it's an onion or garlic, I really don't wanna to have to wash a big cutting board. So I got that little bamboo cutting board. And then for the beauty supply, I did get a few things and I kind of got out of hand of buying air fresheners and scents. I do like aromatherapy scents and jasmine and green tea and lavender. So these are basically what I have here. Now, I bought this lotion in my last Dollar Tree and I said, you know, it's pretty thin. And I wasn't sure about it, but let me tell you guys, I use this on my body after a shower and it smells so good and it actually moisturizes my skin. And this is by the brand Spa Luxury. I was looking to see if they had any more and this was actually the last one. So even though it looks like it has been tested, I wanted to buy it anyway. This was the last packaging. And then in the same brand, I found this in a different corner. This is Everlasting Love Body Wash and it says it's inspired by the Calvin Klein sense eternity now and it's very like it's very light it's not too strong and it does have like um it doesn't smell cheap okay so i wanted to give that a try as a body wash and then i'm not sure if this is going to work on my hair my hair has been really really dry lately but i wanted to try out this castor oil and you don't like put it on your hair and you don't like rinse it out you put it on your hair and you style it so i'm going to be very careful about this but this is going to go towards my ends of my hair and let's see, let's see if it works out. If not, then I can just wash my hair if I don't like, oops, if I don't like it on my hair. I also found this pillow spray. This is lavender scented and it's also infused with melatonin and essential oils 
And what I'm planning to do with this is use this as a fabric spray. So kind of like Febreze, but I'm just going to go very light-handed because this is very like highly fragrant. Just to spray around onto the beds and around the couches and stuff like that. I highly recommend this. And then if you guys know, if you have bigger boys, maybe younger boys, but definitely boys in their teenage years and older, they really need an air freshener in their room. I don't know what is it. Is it their socks? They're oily here. I don't know, but my boy's room smells all the time. So I find this Island Vibe scent, and this is a luxury room mist. They did have an Island Breeze scent, which smells very similar, but I like this one better. I'm gonna spray this around the room, use it like a fabric um, air freshener, and just heavy duty, guys, heavy duty. You need it for boys. And then I also found this aromatherapy because I'm all about de-stressing. And this also helps with um, mental focus and restore energy, it says here. It's rosemary and cinnamon scented. So this smells good as well. And I recommend this scent as well. And then another scent I got was this. It looks like bath salt, but it's not a bath salt. It's just for an air freshener. I'm going to put this into my car and just... Um, let it um, do its thing because i normally use a small space air fresheners which i have right here this is hawaiian scented and this is fresh linen of course this is not the brand small spaces but this is pretty much similar okay so no let me tell you something but normally when i go to my car and i drive to work that's the time where i clear my mind i i don't have any sound i don't play music i don't do anything just drive almost mindlessly of course but i have to be careful not to get into accident and at the same time i like scents like this so it's kind of like a mental focus on my way to work but i really like this eucalyptus scents so that's why i got this instead another air freshener i recommend from the dollar tree is this orange blossom honey spray i did try several sprays that they had there and i also went to the baby aisle and they did have like a powdery scent one but there's something about it like towards this end of the scents that i didn't like and this is the only one that i did like so i recommend that and this is pretty heavy this is like a full can right here for a dollar 25 and i'm not sure about how these smell but i'm gonna i wanted to give it a try anyway and these are going to go to my bathroom i do have small bathrooms anyway so i think this would be okay the small spaces air fresheners work just fine we just had the solar clips just a couple of days ago I hardly took any photos. I think I took of when it was already past totality, but I wanted to get some glasses because from here on, it's just getting sunny, you guys. I mean, summer is just around the corner. I mean, I'm really happy. I love summer. So I wanted to get some Dollar Tree sunglasses and actually these are like, these work really, really well. Yearly, I get a couple of new glasses since they're not, you know, they're not all that sturdy, but they work well. And then I love hair clips. It just keeps my hair in check. My hair can, um, can be very frizzy most of the time but I, right after shower if you put your hair oils in your hair and then just like twist them up and then you let it go about maybe a couple hours later your hair will hold a curl and will have some body so that's what i do all the time and then i go to work so i don't like to get sweaty at work and that's what i use so i have two of these gray ones two of the lavender ones these hold really really well if you have a lot of hair so i recommend that and then the container that it's sitting in it's a little organizer it says fridge storage bin and so what i've been using it already so far is storing like little bottles of oil and sauces where my spice rack is it's been like containing any like messes i wanted to get a couple more for the refrigerator for this like little bottles and little things that um i want to keep organized so that's why i have two here so i've noticed my memory's been shot and i really wanted to get my brain moving so i bought a sudoku puzzle for myself just to challenge my brain and i hate doing this i really dislike doing this but i'm going to do it anyway just to get my memory going i don't want to get alzheimer's as i get older and just keeping up with these things um, will help sharpen your your memory and then i also have some word hunts for my mom my mom well my mother-in-law is 85 years old and she's sharp she remembers a lot of things especially things that have um, things that have happened years and years ago because she keeps her mind focused so she likes to do these word puzzles well this one the crosswords is for me my youngest daughter she's always in a rush leaving um, to school so her hair is always a mess so i told her i'm going to get you one of these folding hair brushes to keep in your book bag so you can brush your hair throughout the day hopefully she does but that's the idea we also have this makeup brush holder 
and I wasn't going to get one, but when I saw this lemon printed one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Let me get this. And so when we travel, I have a container to hold my hairbrushes and they won't get squished in a bag. I need to get some more floss and this is my favorite floss. I like the little pick at the end. It gets like the little crevices of food. And then something that I found that was really, really interesting is this travel size bottle. I have a lot of travel size bottles, but this one, it's, I'm gonna put you guys down, but I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, so you can see on the packaging here that the screen cover comes off and then you get your four individual bottles, which I like, you know, everything is contained. So you just pop off the covers. Oh, there we go. And then you can see each individual bottle, which I really like this. They also have this in pink. It's a little on the small side. It's just about 2.03 ounces. So a bit small, but I wanted to give that a try. And if it's just for one person, then I think this should be enough. You can actually put two shampoos here and two conditioners here, or maybe a shampoo, a conditioner, body wash, and maybe um, another shampoo. I don't know, but I thought that this was a nice packaging. I also needed some more hangers. We pretty much use our hangers downstairs in our basement. I have the girls' closets down there. I also have a coat rack. We also hang clothes, so we really use a lot. And then for the jackets, I ended up using two of these hangers for one jacket. So I don't know what's happening to hangers, but I needed another pack. My girls like to play badminton with me. We do have a badminton set, but this is a little bit more forgiving. We also have a yearly block party, which I'm slowly collecting some activities for the block party. So it has a big racket, it has a big ball, and it has a big birdie. It sounds weird, but it has a big birdie. And this was $5. They did have a light green racket which i was i was going to buy two rackets but i said let me hold off i'm not sure if i'm going to like it and if i do then i'll get two additional one more thing guys i have the eye drops from the dollar tree if you're not afraid to use generic brand medications then dollar tree would be the same so i have these eye drops they're not allergy drops they're just moisture for the eyes and because my eyes are a little itchy right now it's allergy season I want to get some eye drops, but I still need to get some allergy medications. Sometimes Dollar Tree has it, but I didn't see it this time. So yeah, I have a eye drops here. I also got some medications for my cruise, my past two cruises from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, don't be afraid of using the medication of the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is everything that I bought from the Dollar Tree today. This cost me $86 and some change. I know it's a lot of money just for the Dollar Tree, but everything is going to, is going to get used up efficiently and then the ice pops the kids are gonna love that that's gonna go pretty fast and then we have the chocolate wafers a candy or coconut water all our lovely scents that will help me distress this year and some things that I can do to jog up my memory so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe if you're new if you have a suggestion for my channel please post it in the comments below I would really like to get some comments from you guys, okay? All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.